Peace and healing. It's your soul sister, Michaela, and this is My Life on Earth. Not his story, but her story. And if you're a returning subscriber in the comments down below, please be sure to put the numbers 333. And if you are a new viewer and new subscriber, hey, please be sure to put the number 777 in the comments down below. Okay, guys, so in this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys, I have started my lock journey. Lately, I've, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Lately, it's been really calling to me. It was like, I need to lock my hair. The time is now, now I need to do it. So I decided, okay, the time is now. And the way I decided to go is, I got mini braids put into my hair. And the method that I'm doing is, as they are braids, as my hair gets like, you know, it gets longer and it gets older and there's more new growth, I will be getting my hair interlocked. So they take the hair between each, like the hair in the strand of the braid and they just interlock it together. So over time, the braid fizzles away and your hair is locked and you have locks. Um, I do, however, have a small, I have a small grid pattern due to my hair density and my head shape the person my sister actually did my braids she actually did these for me like last year may just for me like that was part of my spiritual journey just trying to get more comfortable with myself and my natural hair and just getting in the flow of you know being me so she did she put these in before she, this is actually my third time having these in the first time the first two times the grid pattern was however a little bit bigger but being that i'm locking my hair she made them smaller this time so i'm just gonna let you guys see And I also took clips so you guys can see each step. So we will definitely be getting into that in a second. As you guys can see, I, decide, I decided to bleach my hair and I have this one patch that's right here on this left side. I originally wanted to get this patch and some spots in the back as far as like random little highlights. Um, wasn't necessarily my decision not to, but I just was going with the flow, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely wanted to have spots in the back. And I thought it would be cool if, like, one of them would have, like, the blonde and black mix or whatever. And, you know, there was opposing, you know, energies around me that just said that they felt like that wouldn't have been a good idea. Turned out, I end up having one that already has black and blonde mix. But it's cool. This is the start of the journey. I will be coloring and adjusting my hair in the future. As you guys can see, I added some seashells. I originally only had one when I first got it done, just to, you know, for the aesthetic. But now just getting more comfortable in it. I've actually had these braids in for about one week now. So this is a week. This is what it looks like in a week. It's already starting to thicken up a little bit. It's already... Just the ends are getting in, uh, you know, they're getting in unison with each other. I have been moisturizing and oiling my hair every single day since then because I know hydration is something that is important. They try to tell you not to do too much of that when you first lock your hair, especially if you do the twist method. But being that I have the braid method in my hair, I definitely keep it extra hydrated and moisturized, especially with the blonde being, well, especially with my hair being bleached. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the different steps that I did to achieve this first set to achieve this foundation of my locks and starting my lock journey. And I'm excited to show you guys every step of the way. I will be showing you guys when I first get my hair in a lock. Other than that, this is a journey and I'm super excited. My full locks out and I'm about to wash my hair. And you guys, I am officially starting my lock journey. Why am I looking over here? I'm officially starting my lock journey. And the reason that's exciting because I've been wanting to do this for a while, but it's something that's really been drawing to me lately in general. So super excited. My sister will be doing my locks. I will be starting with braid locks because of the texture of my hair. I'll be doing braid locks instead of uh, the hand roll mess, the hand roll method or whatever you call it. So yes, guys, thank you again. Nice and thick, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. And I am actually bleaching my hair, guys. I'm super nervous because of the way I'm going to be doing it. But I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to tell you guys now. 
you'll see when I come in. If you're a spiritual being having a 3D physical experience, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I post a new video and share this video with a friend, guys. Okay, guys, so I got my hair washed. I, it took me like an hour to detangle my hair because I had that hairstyle in for three months. So I just finished washing my hair and detangling my hair, shampoo and condition. And now we're about to go ahead and bleach this spot. I'm going to do a highlight patch. I'm just going to do like a patch spot in the front and then do a couple highlights in the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to bleach this and then rinse that out. And then I'm going to leave condition, deep condition my whole head and leave conditioner in overnight. And then we're going to rinse it out in the rising. And then we're going to blow dry and get to the braid locks. See you when I come back. This don't look right. <laughs> okay guys, so we have, what do they call it? Skunk, skunk patch, something like that. So guys, we have the first part of the blonde done. Just gonna show you guys. I decided to go all the way there. I couldn't decide if I want to do ombre or just do the whole thing. And I trust my intuition. I was just like, forget it. I'm going to just do the whole thing. So that's what I did. And we have this shower cap on. And it um, I have a deep conditioner on right now. So I'm letting that sit overnight. And then when I wake up, we're going to rinse it out, blow dry, get my braid, get my braid lock started. So, just rinsed the conditioner out from overnight. I'm going to use a shirt, not a towel. This does not make me happy. This wall is just making the room feel smaller than I Let's try to get this bow dried. Emma, the two are dead. Oh my God. Emma, the two are dead. He got drip, he said. Yes, right, he got drip. Anybody.